Hey everyone, I'm Jules. I've been using Roo for about 3,000 years now, and guess what? I'm still not sub 10. So Roo method is a method that involves block building, uh, a little bit of intuition, and uh, a lot of really spammy turns. So you first you build a one by two by three block on one side, you repeat the process on the other side, solve your corners, and then solve the rest using the M and U layers. So I'm really curious as to how Phil and Ro are gonna go ahead and solve. I know Ro's been practicing a lot with me recently, but Phil, I'm not really too sure. Hey guys, this is Phil. I've been doing a ZZ method since 2009. ZZ is a very unconventional and rare method. I think I'm one of the only like three people who use it in the world. Um, that aside, it's uh, very unique. It starts with orienting all the edges on the cube. That gives you the ability to solve it using the R, U, and L faces, which is pretty cool for the F2L. So once you orient the edges, you build an EO line, which is essentially half across, and you fill out the rest of your F2L, and then you can do last layer a variety of ways, uh, going from OLL, PLL, most basic, to ZBLL if you're fancy and you want to learn a lot of stuff. I'm really curious to see what these guys will do. I think ZZ and CFOP and ZZ and Rue do share some similarities. Uh, I know ZZ and Rue both use some form of uh, corner solving algorithm set and F2L is familiar with CFOP. So let's see how it goes. Really excited to see uh, how these guys handle it. Hey guys, Ro here. Uh, so my main method for the cube is CFOP. I've been using it since 2008. Uh, it's probably the most popular method out there, so many of you are probably familiar with it, but it starts with cross, first two layers, OLL, PLL. I'm excited to see what silly things Jules and Phil do with the method, so let's get into it. So Phil, you know nothing about this method. No, I've never done an actual legit Rue solve in my life. Well, this is going to be interesting. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll form the first two blocks really badly, mm -hmm. do an, a move count inefficient COLL, mm -hmm. and then like, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Well, at least I appreciate the warning. All right. <laughs> I have like not planned this out. That, that's okay. Oh, shoot. Wait, I don't even, so like th part of the problem is I don't know the student anti student cases. Uh-huh. What do you do from here? So I would fix the EO. So I would this identify is... where the bad edges are. Yeah, it's just these three and this so one, So right? when there's three on top, it's basically an arrow. Okay. Which is nice, yeah. because then you have to point the arrow at the bad one at the bottom. Okay, so right. like and this then, one. Yeah, okay. that's it. And then you just do an M-U-M. M. Or an M prime U-M. Okay. Yeah, and then right, everything's cool. good. Okay, so, so then, you, yeah. Yeah, at this point, what would you do here? I would position the U-L and U-R pieces, so the yellow okay. orange or the yellow um, red. Yellow red. Yep. I'll put them where they need to go. So, okay. so this one just needs to move over. Yeah, that one needs to move over. And usually what I do is I put the orange one on the bottom layer by doing an M2. Yep. Putting the, the other one. Like over here. Yeah, yep. Completely diagonal from it. Okay. Right? Okay. And then just do an M prime, U2, M prime. And then that puts it into position. Okay. And then from here, it's kind of just figuring out the least number of moves to, to solve it. So like maybe this? It could be that. Wait. Like that? Yeah, okay. there you go. So that's that's the method. Your blocks are actually like really not that bad, probably because you have experience building blocks. That was also really easy. <laughs> I, like I think if the case was a lot worse, I would look a lot worse. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that's not a bad time for someone who, who has zero experience with the method. Yeah, this is where it gets really bad. How do I even, where's my piece? Okay, this is awkward. Oh shoot, I didn't even solve it. What do you, what, what do you think about the method? I mean, it's it's really interesting. Um, the uh, the blocks are really abstract, mm -hmm. and uh, it was. I think like it's it's really crazy how people can plan more than the first block, like pro solvers. Mm -hmm. it, it's just it's insane. 
Uh, I don't think I can ever get to that point, but maybe who knows if I use the method for like a few months, yeah. I might be able to like do it. The way you build blocks is very is very is easy. Like yeah, of you, course. You, you definitely just ignore the middle slice as much as you can. Yeah, but the middle slice is an asset. It's it's yeah. absolutely one of the best tools that you can use at yeah. block building, and that's what people don't understand because they want to keep the white center at the bottom if they're you know not color neutral. Uh huh. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense because so. that's what most CFOP solvers mm -hmm. cling on to is having the foundation yeah the, Z, uh, the, the rue solve dust definitely doesn't have that same foundation but it doesn't need it yeah it doesn't it, you have a lot of freedom when you when you build your blocks with cool. Rue, cool which is one of its strengths well uh yeah thanks for thanks for the advice oh yeah yeah hey, Sandy. <laughs> oh shoot yeah i can use some too <laughs> all right so rue is Definitely not the most painful second block I've ever seen in my life. It was good. <laughs> I don't think you could make that call. <laughs> Alright, real talk, that could have been like easily a 12. <laughs> Yeah, I, or like even an eleven. I did a blind out for the last three inches. I, I <laughs> really, it's almost like that's what you do. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if you start off with CFOP, there's so many restrictions that you can't really. If you switch to Rue, it's hard to actually realize what you can actually do now. So, but so if you want to do a Rue, start now. So if I could give you any advice on how to improve. Judging from how you actually solve in general, I would just improve your last six edges Because if you can get your your last six edges to be extremely smooth, you would get sub 15 instantly So it, it's one of the steps that you could probably take moving forward is just get good at the last six edges I think I'm fine All right, so uh, step number one you have to orient all the edges all right I know which ones need to be oriented, but I don't know how to go about doing that. Okay, so you have like these two, and this one. And this one. Yeah, you know, if you um, if you take your finger off of the edge, it'll uh, be misoriented forever. So you have to hold on really tight. What? You have to you have to put your fingers on all of them. <laughs> I'm just trolling. Yeah. Um, Should I? Right. Uh... So yeah, what you can do is an uh, F prime. So then that makes it these two? Yeah, and then you can do a D2L too. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, yeah. All right. Um, so I guess this first solve is untimed, but uh... Ooh, I can do an X cross. Well, yeah, if you held the cube for like five seconds, <laughs> you could do an X cross. All right, try to skip OLL here. There you, <laughs> there you go. All right. I feel like I used to know that at some point, but... All right, let's do a time solve. So yeah, once you, once you get past the EO line, the F2 actually feels really good. Yeah. If you're expecting RUL, like if, uh, yeah, if you know it's going to be like pleasant. This is a lot. Mm hmm. I count six. All right, so. I think I could do like R L prime B. Yeah, so for six, you either do 3 1 3 or 4 2. 4 2 is not efficient, but like, yeah, you typically you turn three wrong edges into one wrong edge, okay, and then you attach that one with the other three. So I can do this, those three? Yeah. And I think it was this, this, and this? Yeah, sure. So now we're down to page three. What's the other one that's messed up now? It's this front. one. Ah, okay. Yeah. I... This is like a, like a, <laughs> this is like a mini game. I guess that did all it. itself. Right? Yeah. But B2 is not ideal. No. I I'm also just glad you didn't do some like blindfold edge orientation moves. <laughs> now I can get the things that, or not. Why do I count five? Oh, six. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so now it's these. <laughs> Wait, he's not doing a time solve. I, I actually can't plan it out. <laughs> Nice, nice, <laughs> nice. That's like, it's funny. That's like the same as one of my like 
better CFOP solves, but it looks like you wasted a ton of time in your solve. If you're interested in getting uh, into ZZ, definitely spend some time learning to do uh, EO line instinctively. Edge orientation is kind of uh, an abstract concept, so uh, definitely take the time to, to understand it and get it down. Because if uh, you don't, it can be a little discouraging. It's the hardest part of the method if you're a beginner. Uh, once you understand it, it uh, actually makes the rest of the process a lot more uh, a lot more straightforward and you'll get more confidence. This one's actually good. I'm just going to do it. All right. Nice. Is this sub 10 with ZZ? Sub 10 with ZZ. Is that your first sub 10 with ZZ? Yeah, it's because it was like four moves at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah. So, uh, what experience do you have with ZZ? I know it exists. I, I sort of know the steps. Okay, yeah, do EO first. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So, it's, it's. So, what? Do I just start timing myself now? E e I, I guess after you inspect. <laughs> yeah, just don't <laughs> accidentally do CML and mess up one of your edges. Okay, so I'm, if I'm counting my bad edges here, right? Yeah. See, see if I'm right here. Okay. That's one. <laughs> yes. That's two. Yes. That's three. Yes. Four. Mm-hmm. And um, that's what? These two? Yeah. These two are bad. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So you actually recognize them really fast. So I know those are bad. The action of flipping them is weird to me, right? Because if I do this, then that's good, that's good, that's good now. Yeah, and then that's bad, and then you have four, so you just put them all in one face, and then flip them again, and then you'll get them all good. Oh, okay, so like, for example, like, this one's bad. Yeah. This one's still bad. Mm-hmm. And these two are bad. Yeah. So what if, so if I were to want to put all these... On, yeah, you on, can, you can do it on the B face. Is like, that, is that, that, that seems to be the easiest, so I would do it like that. Like that, like that. Sure. And it's all on the B. Yeah. If I do that, everything's yeah. correct. Mm -hmm. And then you can solve the, the line afterwards. Okay, I see. So how am I doing in terms of recognition? Um, I mean, that was a really long line, but it's okay. <laughs> so this is the part where I do the thing that's sort of like my method. Okay, yeah, you got right. it. Okay. And that alg you know. That's... Okay, except I don't apparently. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. You, you looked like you knew how to do it, though. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. it looked like it was starting out really well. But much like all the things in my life, it ends up miserably. Wow, that was really dark. <laughs> you didn't even do CLL. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Don't worry. Like, we all go over 15 seconds. No, nah, just, uh, just get the method correct. That's it, right? No. No. This one's wrong. Wait. Oh, you're right. So now everything's right. No, it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> that's not right. Okay, so where's the other one that's bad? Now, right? Yeah. There's this one. So if I do that... I've seen more now than it was before. <laughs> so these two are wrong. Yeah, these two are wrong, right? Yeah. So what if I just do that? Sure, you moved pretty <laughs> quick, but like now it looks good from, oh, from okay. here. Okay, so if I do that... Okay. Okay, so I do that. That, that, oh wait, this, that, this, that, and I know that one. Ha! Huh. What, are you asking for like a gold star for knowing the T term? <laughs> <laughs> Please? What is happening? <laughs> this is crazy. This is what happens when a person that doesn't know how to do F2L tries to do F2L. Oh, I know that one too. <laughs> okay, it's it's under a minute, <laughs> regardless of whether you plus two or not. That's a plus two, by the way. Yeah, how did you feel about this method? I think that the I think okay. So, <laughs> real talk though, identifying the edges is very is a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, you, well, you see bad edges in your method too, right? Yeah, but they're completely different. Oh, just, okay. <laughs> um. The actually making the line and fixing it is very difficult for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that 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 by itself is one of the main reasons people won't pick up this method. That hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but uh, in all seriousness, so yeah, people do find difficulty in first doing the EO and then connecting it to the line. 
So when you when you first start, don't be afraid to do the line, uh, do the EO first, and then do the line. But eventually, you should like merge into one step. That's uh, ideal. Interesting. Yeah, I'll definitely do a couple more solves with this on my free time, but not any more than that. I bet you can't preserve that pair. What this one? Yeah. I can't even play my cross. I'm so nervous. What the? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? <laughs> 18. Yeah, a lot of pausing in there. That was definitely better. Yeah, yeah. Not many rotations. Yeah, I, I think I'm just like, I'm stuck trying to, to get rid of the rotations. Am I doing something like horribly wrong? Uh, you're doing white every time. <laughs> okay. Oh. I should do green. I should? Yeah. You can do an X cross. Alright, try an X cross. What? You can X cross this pretty easily. I don't know how. <laughs> well, just think about making the cross and preserving that block, <laughs> and then keyholing it. No. 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 Uh, I had to go though. Ooh, you should orange. Okay. All right. So I I see like <laughs> you're probably going to make an X cross here, right? Uh, it's actually not. Oh, you have a you have you have an X cross here if you just make the cross. What? Pretty sure it was like a three move. <laughs> Let me see that again. No. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, so some tips, obviously, inspection. There's a, there's a three move cross and you've messed it up. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> your no, tip but, number one would be to be color neutral then, because that Yeah, would... I guess so, but it's three moves. <laughs> but uh, I guess, yeah, color neutral too. Okay. But it's not uh, essential, you know. But, um,. Some of the solutions, yeah, were kind of long. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not efficient. And led to a lot of rotations. Yeah. So, because I'm assuming it's easy, you're not having to worry about rotations at all. So, a lot of look ahead is also trying to avoid a rotation with the next thing. Uh huh. So, um, and then OLL, I guess, learn some OLLs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay, cool. So, I know C pop ish, maybe. Sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and go right into it. You know, I can do a C-pop solve like a normal human being. I can't do it properly, but a normal human being, sure. So aggressive. Listen, man. Oh, I don't know OL. That's, that's one of those things. Okay. Oh, 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 eh. How was that? A very aggressive turning style. Like, uh, uh -huh. you probably relax a little bit and just focus more on look ahead than actually solving. Well, I'm really nervous on camera. I don't know if you could tell. Sorry. <laughs> and learn all else, you know. And yeah, practice. that's 57 hours. I'm not learning. Okay. 